Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Uh, for a preemptive like, I just like Because the Viet Cong and their allies, just Sweden like doesn't often... Um, why did Sweden support the Viet Cong? Wait, what? I just watched the video, um... Tyogenes. Where, where is it? I definitely watched a video. Oh, why didn't Britain fight in Vietnam? So now it's, why did Sweden support the Viet Cong? You dang traitor. No, I'm joking. Doesn't make sense. My name's Connor. I like to watch things and learn. Throw your phone. Phone's away. If you are not ready to learn, you are in the wrong class. Home ec is down the hall. Make me some spaghetti or sit in the back and chill. That's fine. All right, let's 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 find out. I said everything, right? Original link, top description, Discord. Join it. My name's Connor. New England is where I am from. Go. When most people think of the Viet Cong and their allies, Sweden doesn't often make the list. Yet throughout the Vietnam I War, Sweden was a supporter of theirs and harshly critical of the United States. Which raises the question, why? Why did Sweden side with the Viet Cong? I have no so, idea, and I'm very curious and excited. So, which raises the question, why? Why did Sweden side with the Viet Cong? So, during the Cold War, Sweden aimed for a policy of non-alliance in peace, neutrality in war. That is, they weren't picking sides. However, throughout most of this period, it was pretty clear that Sweden lent much... I know this is really Cold annoying, War, Sweden but... Why? Why did Sweden side with the Viet Cong? So, during the Cold War, Sweden aimed for a policy of non-alliance in peace, neutrality in war. That is, they weren't picking sides. However, throughout most of this period, it was pretty clear that Sweden lent much more towards the NATO camp than that of the Warsaw Pact. Yet, there were many issues in which Sweden was consistent in its criticism of the USA and the West. And one such issue was the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War had two phases. The first was when France, the colonial overlord of this area called French Indochina, fought to quell a rebellion against its rule. Now, at first, the USA wasn't all too fussed about this since it had no desire to preserve old European empires, but with Vietnam, there was an issue. Because in peace talks, it was divided into two states. Question, um, after the Japanese, they occupied Vietnam, right? They, they had to have, and, and kicked out the French there where the french was french control re reinstated so north vietnam was under the control of an issue because in peace talks it was divided into two states and north vietnam was under the control of communists and they wanted the south too and as such it was intervention time because domino theory dictated that all instances of a potential communist government must be stopped lest the entire world fall to it. So in the mid-1960s, Sweden pushed itself as an international mediator and spent three years trying to get the USA and North Vietnam to make peace. This effort came to an abrupt stop in 1968 when American President Lyndon B. Johnson told Sweden to mind its own business. <laughs> the next year, Olaf Palmer was elected as Swedish Prime Minister and his attitude towards the Vietnam War was much more hostile. You should know that he was a firm critic of many foreign nations at this point, so the USA wasn't look how freaking long style you should know i have that add it i'm sorry i know it's been even longer in history i think but look at how long the czech republic is or was or is that czechoslovakia right it turned into the czech republic and slovakia but i think it might have been even longer he was a firm critic of many foreign nations at this point, so the USA wasn't being specifically targeted. However, he was extremely public with his critiques, such as when in 1972 he compared the US bombing campaigns in Vietnam to Germany's use of concentration camps in World War II. And in response, the United States promptly broke off diplomatic relations with Sweden until the next year. So Sweden's support for North Vietnam and the Viet Cong was because Palmer and the rest of the Swedish government saw US intervention as ignoring the will of the people there, thus making it an act of imperialism. Now, Palmer wasn't a communist or anything, and with the Viet Cong was because relations with Sweden until the next year. So Sweden's support for North Vietnam and the Viet Cong was because Palmer and the rest of the Swedish government saw US intervention as ignoring the will of the people there, thus Thus making it an act of imperialism. That's correct, I think. That that could that I think that's correct, right? That are a very good point. And comparing uh the bombing of Vietnam to the Holocaust, I don't know enough to say whether that's a good comparison or not. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But um why would they support 
you know, it, the title of the video isn't why was Sweden neutral in the Vietnam War? It's why did Sweden support the Viet Cong? Well, what's the difference between supporting the Viet Cong and supporting the South Vietnamese if giant military nations are helping on both sides? So you're still... Am I making any sense? The next year. So Sweden's support for North Vietnam and the Viet Cong was because Palmer and the rest of the Swedish government saw US intervention as ignoring the will of the people there, thus making it an act of imperialism. Yes, yeah, that doesn't... The, the, don't get me wrong about the comparisons. I'm not saying that doesn't make sense, but what doesn't make sense is how is the US doing anything worse than the Chinese or the Soviets? Let me know if I'm wrong, and maybe the, the U.S. was just way more brutal, and maybe the U.S., or maybe it's because the U.S., okay, maybe it's because, I, I don't, maybe it's because there, a lot, there were a lot of American troops in Vietnam, and there weren't, you know, Soviet troops in Vietnam, so it was like, it's not like you're just aiding them. You are literally on the ground. And so, okay. British government saw US intervention as ignoring the will of the people there, thus making it an act of imperialism. Now, Palmer wasn't a communist or anything and was mostly driven by a fierce anti war ideology. These criticisms ultimately. Communist or anything and was mostly driven by a fierce anti war ideology. What? These now Wait. Not a communist. Palmer wasn't a communist or anything and was mostly driven by a fierce anti war ideology. These criticisms ultimately changed nothing, and so Palmer opted to give direct aid to the Viet Cong. Now, obviously, this didn't include sending a bunch of Swedish soldiers to Vietnam in order to fight the Americans or anything. What Sweden did was skirt as close to helping as they could without drawing the wrath of NATO. And the first thing that Palmer did was to give asylum to American draft dodgers. The second thing Sweden did was to send medical supplies to Vietnam along with doctors to train Viet Cong medics. Outside of the government, many Swedes were fiercely pro Viet Cong, and there was even an attempt by members of the public to send money to North Vietnam to acquire weapons. In the end, Sweden's support for the Viet Cong was more focused on its opposition to America's war against it. Whilst the government did recognize North Vietnam as an independent country, send it medical supplies and give asylum to American draft dodgers, this was done from a position of pacifism. Sweden supported the Viet Cong against the United States because it would have supported anyone in the same situation against any other great power, which was a position that Sweden would hold many more times throughout the Cold War. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching with us. Thank you for making. Okay. Um, so, special th if it's the case that the U the US they've definitely seemed to so my first uh qualm or or issue with understanding their position was well why would you support the Viet Cong and not the South Vietnamese if you're supporting the Viet Cong because the US is intervening to chain to to try and get the outcome that they want in the Vietnam War when the Soviets and Chinese are doing the exact same thing but they aren't doing the exact same thing I don't think I think it's more of a strategic arms and stuff like that aid to the South Vietnamese rather than full full blown troop deployments by China and and the Soviets into North Vietnam to try and get the South out which didn't seem to happen. So with all that said, all that being said, I I think it was a fine it was a good honestly decision on on Sweden's part. And I think it was America should not have been in that war. Um because they they if they wanted again, if they wanted to just supply intelligence, weapons, armor and whatnot maybe training to the South Vietnamese and just like the North got some weapons and stuff from Soviets and China, then it would be more of an issue. But clearly the, the U S was extremely involved with their own troops and their own troops massacring many civilians and soldiers. And so the more I learn about America and Vietnam, the more it seems like that was just, a country going to
it was in yeah, evil's a hard word, a harsh word. It was an immoral thing that should remain a giant stain on America. Um, yeah, really interesting. Hope you're all doing well. Chin up if not. Love y'all. See you guys next time. Bye.